I think it's one of those things where um, in that tent it's really easy to lose, get stressed, so I'm not surprised that in a moment I managed to do something a little bit silly. How stressful is it? It was just a really odd situation to find yourself in because, you know, normally when these people are baking, you know, you're at home, it's fun, it's relaxing. And then you find yourself in a tent with ten cameras pointed at you, producers talking to you the whole time, and the whole competition element to it. So it's just a very surreal situation to find yourself in, and, and I don't think you can ever really get used to it. It's difficult, isn't it? I mean, Baked Alaska is a tricky one at the best of times. It is. I mean, it's, it's not, the, not the hardest thing, but under those circumstances, with it being the hottest day of the year, in a tent, didn't look like there was enough freezers for everybody... Yeah, I'm not surprised things went wrong, and um, I think it was definitely the most dramatic thing on the show I can remember in a while. How's your baked Alaska, Claire? Oh, I've never made one. <laughs> so how long did Sue Perkins say it had been out of the freezer? 40 seconds. 40 seconds, really? Mm. And it melts like that, that mm. quickly? Mm. Maybe he, I don't know. Maybe it was a bit melty in the first place. Yeah, I reckon. Mm. Do you think there's a certain amount of social engineering going on with the producers, though, Nikki, because they make them share fridges? And we saw, I think it was last series, actually. It'd be interesting to get uh, uh, your view on this one, Ed. Um, in the last series, there was, a, there was the custard gate as well, wasn't there? Do they do you think they make you sh- Remind share Remind us about fridges? custard gate. Yes, well, know. custard gate, somebody <laughs> used somebody else's custard. Mm. And do you think they do that because they think, well, you know, could get into a bit of a muddle here, could be quite interesting? <laughs> From the interaction I had with producers, I would say no. But by the nature of the size of the tent and uh, equipment, you do have to share things. So you don't have a fridge each and you are sharing them. Mm. And you have a small freezer, so... Whilst I don't think it was intentional, I'm not surprised just to be quite happy by the, uh, <laughs> the result it came out last night. And by the ignominy, he had to bring it up in a bin. That was terrible. It was <laughs> like, it's like the old days, standing in the corner of class with a dunce's cap on. <laughs> in Victor-